All right, so we're going over left lateral chest placement. Jen, can you show us how to get a good landmark? So first I want to come up and identify where is that patient's pectoralis muscle. I'm right-handed, so I'm using my non-dominant hand to grab his pectoralis muscle. My pointer finger, notice it finds directly where that rib, and this happens to be that fifth intercostal place that I'm looking for. And one of the big dangers that we're trying to avoid is if I was to continue to bury my needle to the hub in this particular side, I would be hitting into that left ventricle of the heart. We opened up that option in the uh, Department of Defense through the committee on TC3 to go to the left and right anterior axillary side. One of the issues is on the left side in particular, since your heart lays over on that side, it varies in people, right? Not everybody's the same. And so some can be within, you know, three, two, three inches from the side, especially in an older population, especially if there's some comorbidities, they may have that cardiac box that's right off the left side. So we don't want to over penetrate on the left side.